Hey guys, hey guys, it's your girl Kayla B, you know me, and as you could tell, it's finally time for the full face of Marc Jacobs. Yes, yes, yes. I said I was waiting until I got the brow stuff, but to be honest, I don't need no more brow stuff. Like, um, $40 for two brow pencils and a brow gel all together. I mean, it's $39, but $40, that's, that's rounding it up. Um, probably $41 with tax and stuff for brow stuff. It's not like I'm getting two. It's, I mean, I am getting two, but it's like, it's all in one. And it's not a sale because it's a new item. When they had their sale, it was not on the sale. So I did not get it. So anyways, let's get into the full face of Marc Jacobs. If you like skincare reviews, if you like makeup reviews, if you like unboxings, go hit that subscribe button. That's me. This is what the packaging looks like. Oh, I've been waiting to use you. This is eight. For the electric, we got rock out feel the rhythm, glittering the stage and stardust. And tonight, you can see the color scheme on the bottom. It comes with like a hot pink chrome button to open it up like this, and then it comes with a mirror and a protector. Oh. And the colors are stunning. Stunning. Do you not see that reflect? I must swatch them for you guys because this is the first time I'm touching it. Oh. This is Out Rock Feel and the Rhythm, which blended into my skin. That ones I did not go again. The first one I went again with. That's like a dark pink shimmer. This right here is called glittering. I guess that's a glitter. Yep, it, it looks like glitter. This is the stage, the silver one. So pretty. And then it has in stardust. And then let's swatch the black one on my pinky right here. I'm just going to put, oh, that black is black. And it's easy to smudge out. Oh, that right there is tonight. Because tonight, mm, whoo, that song is in my head. I don't want to sing it and get copyrighted. So we're just going to keep it as that. So I would put eye primer on, but I kind of want to see how this works. So I'm going to take this fluffy brush, it's the M535 brush, and I'm going to just take this taupey color right here, that taupey color right there, that is feel, and I'm going to put that in my brow bone, oh, pigment, okay, just I just you saw I just tapped and straight up pigment. No wonder people love Marc Jacobs shadows. They say that it's a great formula. This is actually my first time ever trying it out. Even though I had this palette since you know it was out. This is the first time I'm actually really opening it up and playing with it so yeah oh yes oh yes oh okay 
All right, so we're gonna go into that brown shade, the rhythm, the rhythm. It's like a brown mauvey shade. And it's gonna go in our crease and into the outer corners. And oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I'm not gonna go into the silver shade today because the silver shade is like smoky town. And um, I'm not doing smoky town right now. Whew. I mean, I am doing smoky. But like a pink smoky moment, not really a. Wow, that just like evened out my eyes. I like that. So now I'm taking a little smaller brush so I can evenly place out that black so I can. Ooh, just dipped a little bit. Just dipped a little bit. The control the black. Make it smoky, but not too smoky. Into the crease a little bit. Just like right here. And just like keep on blending. So you're blending it out so it can have that little blown out smoke out effect. This does have kick up. I've realized that their masks have kick up. Usually when I see in a palette that a matte have kick up, that means their shimmers have fallout, which is glad I did my eyes first because I did not know about the formula, how it would be. into this brush we're just gonna take that brown shade and well the rhythm and just go back and forth and then bam that's it Whew. that's it before putting on that pink shade so which shade should I do I'm gonna do this one on the inner corners and glittering on the outer corners. So I'm taking this Luxie brush. This is the Luxie Large Shader 209 brush. And I'm just taking it, that glittery shade on my brush. We're gonna do the outer corners. Yes, we are, but first let's spray the brush. This is like always right here because would not be squat touching me today. I'm gonna be spraying it on my face. But usually I'd be like, I would not be spraying that on my face because all oh, that perfume, that perfume, that perfume. Oh. Oh, that is gorgeous. It looks like liquid metal on my eyes like it wasn't too pigment like starting like the swatching and it kind of looks like how it swatch i can still see some of my eyes through it but i could see that glitter reflect and i like it i like it a lot okay all right, so we're gonna go in with that other glittery shade. What is it called? In Stardust. And this has like a lot of kick up. A lot of kick up and a lot of fallout. I already can see that's what's gonna happen. So again, I'm gonna spray my brush. You see that? I just moved it and Glitter were flying everywhere. Sparks of sparkles was flying everywhere. So we're gonna take that in the inner corner, inner portion of the eye. And I'm just gonna blend, blend. 
blend, 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 blend that two together. You probably can't see the difference, but I can see the difference with texture because the inner corner, you can see, dang, that shine. And then when you get to the end, it's just like glitter specks. So I guess there are two different types of formulas for shimmers. And I like that formula better. I do. I really do. Ooh, I'm excited and I just can't hide it. Uh, going back in with that brown to help everything out. A little bit of the black on the outer corners to blend everything together. And then some of that shade right there, the brow bone. Just basically blending everything together at this point. Oh, I like this look. I really do. Oh, okay, what are we doing for the inner corner? I have no idea what we're doing for any corners. Uh, guess. Let's see what's up with that beige shade. Mm -hmm. Has a little bit of something, something. Okay, I got black on my nails now. That's what I get for um, touching stuff. All right, and I'm taking a little bit of the brown, a little bit of black, a little bit of the brown, and I'm smudging it under my lash line, my lower lash line, just a little bit, a little bit of smoke. A little bit of smoke, a little bit of smoke. Okay, yeah, I need to take away that black, but um, everything else is a-okay. Where did I just put? The little black thing that came with this. I'll find it. <laughs> I'll find it, because I know after I used it, oh, here it is. I would just say. Also, it says Marc Jacobs on it. I don't wanna. I don't wanna lose that. Nope. The the protector says Marc Jacobs. Isn't that so pretty? So far, I really do like this palette. It's very easy, smoky glam, and I'm done with that. I'm done with that. But you be fresh. I need more toilet paper. Literally, that's what you gotta do. We don't have a makeup wipe, tissue, setting mess, or any type of mess. Just take that off. Doesn't take it off completely, but 
it takes it off. Okay, for Primark, we have this little baby. This is a little duo from Marc Jacobs. This is the Coconut Fix Complexion Duo. It has the Petite Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer and the Petite, basically just mini, Finish Line Protecting Coconut Setting Powder. I love anything from their coconut line, like their coconut line is banned. Um, but I wish they had a coconut bronzer that was like my skin complexion because that would be amazing. Ooh, this is what the packaging looks like. The big size also looks like this. And I think I should be doing it with a different hand. Or maybe I should be doing it with my foundation brush. Yep. Yep, that's what I should be doing. I should be doing it with my foundation brush. Um, this makes your makeup stay dewy and fresh looking. Like, ooh, and then it hydrates your skin too. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. It's a baby crying out the window. I don't know. I mean, it's probably not a baby. It's probably like a toddler. But still, like, crying outside the window. Damn. They, they wallin'. They wallin' on the parent. Like, damn. I also like to put it right here where my laugh lines are. So uh, the foundation doesn't go over everything. Whew. All right. So for foundation, we're using my favorite foundation. This is the Deep R590 Shameless Youthful Look 24-Hour Foundation Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 25. I think they're getting rid of this because it's been on sale for a minute and I only see this in another shade on Sephora's website. So if I can see on their shit on their website if they still have this, then I will link it down below. If not, then um, your girl's gonna go and get her another one before they run out of my shade because this is one of my favorite foundations. Like I literally, this is my backup and I'm almost fully done. Like, that's how much I use this foundation. Like, this is my everyday foundation, especially during the summer. Sometimes I just wear this, no concealer. That's what I'm going to wear today. But this is so buildable, so f up to full coverage, dewy, natural look. Like, I do not know why people just don't like this foundation. I mean, I guess because, you know, sometimes when you set it with certain powders, it looks a little dry, it stops the dewy satin effect, but then just don't send it with those powders. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Do you not see how glowy and youthful my skin is looking with this foundation on? Like, ugh. And it's my perfect shade. Like, literally, it's my perfect shade. So it's just like, why get rid of this foundation now? I literally want to like repackage it, like set up the squeezy too. I mean, but I like the squeezy too. I'm not gonna hold you. I like the squeezy too. Did I like how much it costs? And you was using the squeezy too? No, but I like it now because it's cheaper. It's like twenty something dollars now, or is it twelve dollars now? I don't know. It's one of those. It's one of those bangers. Okay, a little bit over the lips. Mm. Oh, it just settles in so nicely. I love this foundation. Okay, for powder, I just told you what we're using. The bigger one is like a glass type of container or like a frosted, um, heavy plastic. That's what it looks like. It says Marc Jacobs. And when you open it up, it has a little net, which I really too love. And 
if you can see I don't want to there's the netting I don't want to waste the powder because this powder is everything I'm using my compass culture brush Excuse me, that powder just, I opened it and it went up to my brains, you feel me? powder it doesn't melt right away into your skin but let me spread my face and you won't see how it just melts perfectly after you spray your face I think any powder does though I'm not gonna hold you I think any powder melts in your face perfectly after being sprayed see it boom just went away Oh, yes. Whew. That is mine right there. As you can tell, it's still dewy, not just because of the primer, but also because of the foundation. It's like satiny. That's the finish. Okay, so for blush, we have the Marc Jacobs Air Blush Soft focus duo this is in night fever and hot stuff right here um i got this and i only use it three times since i got it i'm not gonna hold you the primer and the setting powders i've used quite a bit until i had to like because i had to review it and after reviewing it i stopped because i really do like it but um it's small it's tiny af and i was not going to use it all up it also comes with a button that you push and then it opens i think every one of his product do that it also comes with a nice mirror and a protector and this is what the product looks like and the protector says Marc Jacobs. Oh, oh, I think all the protectors say Marc Jacobs. <sighs> I'm just gonna go back and forth and just, oh, yes, yes. Use that a little bit as bronzer. We're having a pink vibe, pink vibes, pink vibes, pink vibes, yes, oh yes, okay, yes, I think I want to do, I want to do the highlighter as a highlighter, but then I kind of want to do the blush, yep, the blush is going to be my highlight slash blush in the nose. You saw that? Like, bam. Highlights. Mm. I like this. I'm not going to hold you. I like this. I don't know why. I only used it four times. I guess because... I wasn't in the mood for like a pinky berry brush with a shimmer. I was more in the mood for a orangey blush or basically a natural tone blush for me. But that blush is amazing. I'm not gonna hold you, it's amazing. Okay, so we have 
everything set and refreshed let's go refresh my face one more time mm. still so perfumey i'm just gonna go over everything with the brush yes just pat everything in make everything all seamless and beautiful and just yum oh i love i love i love it okay so after that i'm going to go this is not a Marc jacobs product of course it's a tart big eco mascara but um so the thing is that they came out with a new mascara because i don't like their old one i don't like the one that everybody raves but i do not like that and that mascara costs a lot and then i was like well i just buy the mini because they have a mini and um then i looked at my mascara collection the stuff that i haven't opened and i'm like girl you don't need any more mascara you should start using the ones that you have now like the Lily Lashes Mascara, the Ciate Mascara, the CoverGirl Mascara that you bought on your own. You spent your money on that. You should use that. You know? And I'm looking at all the, ma the Lily... Did I say Lily Lashes? Yo, I have so many. The Tarte Mascara. Oh my gosh. The Light Caramel Lashes Waterproof or like Caramel Splashes. Oh my gosh. Like, I need... I have like a lot of mascaras. And I need to use them. Oh. I like the way that this mascara just makes my lashes look amazing. Okay, so next, I'm going to just tell you before I finish this, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Eyeliner. This is the Fi Liner, not the highliner. The highliner is the fatter ones. I have that. I actually just found it. I was like, oh, I don't see the box. Um, you threw away the box because the box got water damage. If you actually remember it, I, looked, I thought I was talking to myself. I was like, actually remember the box got water damage. So you threw away the box and you kept it in in a bag so i went i looked in the bag and i was like yo i had that the whole time i had a kid to use that for eyeliner but then i was like i always wanted this eyeliner because it's gray and i always want a gray eyeliner i want a gray eyeliner a white eyeliner and a beige eyeliner they do have a white a beige and a gray in this form and then they have the black and like a nice like shimmery olive green and the highliner form and i kind of want the shimmery olive green that's the brow thing and the mascara is like the only thing that I wanted to try from their new collection that they just came out with but I kind of just want the green and it's limited edition the mascara is not limited edition so I'm probably just gonna get the green one because your girl she loves herself some olive green and her she loves herself some gray i mean how do you not know that already if you don't well now you do <laughs> i should have put that white that cream that i put in the inner corners on my brow bone but we're just gonna leave it like that this trigger don't want to come out oh my gosh it's gonna take forever Yo, I'm just going to rip this box. They going to make me want to rip this box. I'm sorry, Marc Jacobs, but I'm re I'm ripping your box because your box is getting me upset. This little sticky, yeah, you should have just ripped that out. Like, I understand you don't want stuff to, like, go everywhere, but this box is not useless since I ripped the box. Like, that just, that just kept on, I kept on going up and going up and I kept on going down. Like, that just, that's annoying. Alright, this is what it looks like. 
looks like a gray mauve color it's just like gray with like a mauve or purple undertone putting that in the waterline it's like a clicker and it doesn't go down well it doesn't it's a twist but it doesn't go down wow that actually made a difference Is it raining? It's raining. I mean, they said it was gonna rain, but like at five, and it's not even five, it's like two. So it's like three hours early. Wow. That is beautiful. I'm not gonna hold you up. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm. all right now on to the last product which is lips i love their lip glosses so much this is in the shade work it three four two this is their enamored high shine gloss lip lacquer i forgot what this shade looks like i had it so beautiful, nice brown, mauve color, and they have the paddle mint. I remember. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I missed this. Oh yeah. I missed this. I missed this. I have had two of these. After I used up the one that I had, I didn't use this. And I'm just remembering how much I love this. <sighs> wow. Why? Why? Why does it? Why? Why more Jacobs? Why do you have to have like one of the best lip glosses formula ever? By the way, Foxy Charm add-ons. They have some of these enamored. Uh, uh, enamored glosses so if you do have boxy charm go check out that website and see if you could add some they don't have this color i was looking at the preview they don't have this color but they do have other colors they have like a nice orange one that i might want or like the glitter reflex from orange pink and green one i might want i don't know what's up with me and lip glosses but we've been we've been banging Anyways, that's it for this full face of Marc Jacobs. I hope you guys like this. And I can't wait to show you guys or tell you guys later on in a different video how much I like this or if I it wore, how long it wore, everything else. I will give an in-depth review on this palette and on the lip gloss. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, but everything else I did a do review on the powder, the foundation, the primer, and the blush slash highlight, which I love. I just hope you guys like this. And I think Marc Jacobs is one of my high end. Oh, and the eyeliner, um, how it long it wore. But I think Marc Jacobs is one of my high end brands that I really do love. Like, love. Like, I think I love every single product. That Marc Jacobs has and that's crazy well not every single product I just told you I don't like the mascara the other foundation it's okay um, not my fave that one is my fave because it has SPF and all that extra stuff and it makes my skin just look, it looks natural it looks natural and that's what I like Anyways, have a good day, have a good night whenever you're watching this. And bye, you guys. Thank you for chilling with you, girl. Thank you for hanging out with us, with us, with me. And just thank you. Okay. Bye, you guys. Wait, let me let me put my glasses on. Because, you know, I got to look at myself a little bit more in this mirror. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Um.